Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to send SMSs directly to your phone using JavaScript in Node.js. It's a very, very simplistic tutorial, nothing too complicated. I remember when I was trying to do this and I watched a lot of videos and everything was super complicated, but I'm going to just show you the simplistic way to do it. Almost every application, especially those ones that are client-based, and when I say client-based, I mean that you have to communicate with the client and the client has to, the client has to communicate with the administration, the administration or the backend has to communicate with the client. So you will find that this SMS feature is very, very important. So for example, say you were to create an e-commerce website, uh, there's a need for you to send SMSs to the customer to probably show them where their package is and all that kind of stuff. Almost every single application that I've ever created has needed this type of SMS functionality, but it's been so difficult trying to find the right uh, code to try to implement this feature. Well, you're in luck because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it, how to send SMSs directly to your phone. Literally, you're gonna be doing it and it, the SMS is going to be arriving into your phone. So before we get started, um, I do want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the subscribe button and after you're done clicking the subscribe button, make sure you click the like button and make sure you comment uh, underneath this video if you enjoyed this tutorial or you would like me to do any other tutorial beside this one. All right, let's get into our project. But before we get into our project, I would like to explain the package that I'm going to be using to in order to send these SMSs because obviously we cannot do it with just regular JavaScript. We have to use an external library. And this library is very extensive because it covers a multiple uh, uh, streams of communication channels, if I could say that. There's a lot of things that you can do uh, using this package. And many of you might be familiar with this package. It's called Twilio. So Twilio is a very, very powerful platform that you can use to send SMSs you can use to even send WhatsApp as well. So if you're interested in me doing a tutorial on how to send WhatsApp messages using Twilio, please make sure that you comment in the comment section. I'll be happy to do that for you. So it's a package and it's called Twilio. It's the one that you're going to use. And the good thing about Twilio is that it's not only integratable with JavaScript, but you can also integrate it with many different platforms out there, just in case you're not interested in JavaScript. So you can send SMSs, you can send emails as well. You can also send WhatsApp messages as well. So it is a very, very powerful tool that that we're going to be using today. Now, in order for us to use this tool, you do need to sign up. You need to go to uh, the Twilio website, go to twilio.com, and you need to sign up to this platform. I have already done this. They also have a trial version for you to try out. So all you just need to do is to sign up and um, uh, as you can see, it's no credit card required. And after you've signed up, after you've signed up to this platform, you're going to need uh, the, the authentication token, and you're also going to need the account SID uh, from them. So those are the two important things that you need to do. So I'm not going to go through that phase because I don't want this video to be long. But all in all, you can see that there are many things that you can do with this Twilio website, as indicated on the screen: SMS marketing, call tracking, web chats, many different things. But we're going to be focused on SMS today. Without wasting much further of your time. I would like to get into our code. The first thing that we of course need to do is to create a Node.js project. So we're going to just say npm init dash dash yes, so that we don't have to bother with those uh, questions that uh, npm is going to give us. And just like that, we've created our, our very own npm project and we can just go into uh, our Visual Studio and we're going to create a, a file called app.js. And just like that, we've managed to do that. And I think for this one, we can just simply either we can just like go into it but i like to create a server because I, I don't know it just gives me that that balance obviously i can just run this package without run this file without the need for a server but i think a server is always important because it just shows that something is happening but once again you don't actually need to run a server for this but i think for me i'm going to need to do that so in order to run a server of course we need to install express we also need to install twilio the twilio platform as well so i'm going to just say come over here and say npm install Twilio first and then Express. I'm just going to pause the video and allow for those packages to install into our project. And after our packages have done installing, we can just simply create a simple Express server, nothing too complicated. We're just going to say const express is equals to require. Once again, you don't necessarily need to create an Express server. Okay, we're going to run this at port 5000. I'm just going to say console.log listening at port 5000. All right, that's good. And what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to also import our Twilio. So I'm just going to say Twilio equal to require and then Twilio. 
we're going to create a function here. And I'm going to call it send SMS. And inside of this function, we're going to create or configure our Twilio. Now, like I said, uh, once you log into the Twilio website, uh, they're going to give you two types of code. So Twilio is an API, of course, so they need some sort of authentication for you to use their service. So they give you an authentication token and they give you an SID. So as an SID is a form of identification. So you have to extract these uh, information from the SID and the auth token as well. So if you are having trouble doing this, just like shoot me a comment in the comment section and I will provide a link that will give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to access these two very important variables. So now I already have these variables in place, so I'm gonna be integrating them uh, with my uh, SMS function. So of course, the first thing that you need to do is to configure your Twilio uh, transporter or whatever you call it, uh, your Twilio API with those SID information. So I'm just going to say Twilio like this. And inside of here, as you can see on the function definition, you can see that the first uh, string that is going to accept is the SID. And then after that, it's going to accept your authentication token as well. So you're going to put those in there. I am actually going to declare mine on an environment variable because I don't want to <laughs> people to have access to them and actually use my Twilio bundles or whatever you call them. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to create a dot an env dot env file, and this is where I'm going to put in my Twilio SID information, and I'm also going to put my Twilio auth authentication token. All right. Oh, actually, I don't need to put codes. We just put the you just put the, the the combination of letters. You don't need to put them in a quotes. Dot .env does not identify between strings and all that kind of stuff. It just stores a variable. So the other thing that, of course, I'm going to store in here is my phone number as well. All right, and then after filling my dot .env file, I come back to my code. And now all I have to do is put them in here. I, wait, I first need to import.env in my uh, thingy over here. So I just need to say dot .env equals to require dot .env like that. So if your dot .env does not work as it's supposed to, I think you may have to try installing it in your command line. You may have to just come over here and just say npm install.env like this. I think I've installed it universally or it's built in. Um, so that's probably why for me, I don't think that was necessary. But yeah, you can store it as a maybe a dev dependency. And then you can come over here. You can just simply say process.env dot and you're going to take in those um, things that you put in your environment variable first is the SID and you're also going to say process dot env dot Twilio auth token like that all right and then once you're done doing that you've initialized your client which is going to be responsible for sending these SMSs what you simply do is just you just you can just return this and I think you may have to say async await over here because now you're returning a promise. You just have to say async over here. And then you just say client.messages dot create and you can just put over here the body of the message. You're gonna say hey this is a message, All right? So then you're gonna say from. So Twilio is going to actually provide you with the default phone number that is gonna be the one that is gonna be used uh, to send those SMSs. So if you're not from America, this number is actually an American number. I don't know if there's a possibility, but there's some countries where you can actually use Twilio to get uh, that number that is used to send the SMS.
And over here, I'm going to put the phone number that is going to receive the SMS. So I'm going to say processed on EMV, and then I'm going to say phone number. And then after that, um, because this is a promise, I'm just going to say N message. Let's see whatever is returned. A message like that. And then if there's an error, sorry, dot catch. If there's an error. We'll just simply console log the error. Because I'd be very much interested in that. Coolio. And then after we're done doing this, yeah, I think that's about it. We should be able to come over here and call this method that we see over here. I'm not really seeing the need of this async. I'm going to get rid of it for now. So I'm just going to, and now we just go to our command line and we run our node application. But before we do that, there's one other thing that I think I might have forgotten and it's to configure our .env. So we're going to have to come here and say config like that. After doing that, we just scan our code, make sure everything is good. As you can see over here, it's supposed to be phone number like this number. This is cool. I just want this message to be a little bit explicit. Of course, it's going to show if we, it's going to explicitly show if the message has gone through, but I just want to create another console message. So maybe we can come over here and just say message, message sent. Yeah. And then after here, we could do the same for this as well. This is just so that you can see. You don't actually need to do this. It's just for you to see that the message has been sent properly. We can create another parameter over here. And we can just say um, message not sent. Not sent. Maybe not with a capital N O T. Not sent like that. And this is how we will know that the message has gone and the message has not gone. All right. Cool. So that is our application. So I'm having my fingers crossed that everything goes well. And if we come over here and we say node app.js, fingers crossed that it works. And as you can see, it says that the message has been sent successfully. I am going to provide a screenshot of the message from that exact phone number uh, on the screen so that you can see it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we've managed to send an SMS through our JavaScript in node Dot js. So thank you so much for watching. This is the end of our video. Please make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and make sure that you've liked this video if you've enjoyed it. And make sure to leave a comment in the comment section if you've enjoyed it or if you have not enjoyed it. It's still fine with me. But thank you very much once again for watching. I will see you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.